All right, so... Welcome to the farm. Yeah, we're on location. We're on location. Yeah. No, we're not on location. Well, we're we're not in our usual brick of fit headquarters. Yeah, well, that, that is true. Yeah. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, so... History this is, lesson. This Josh's is like journal. Mini. Yeah. This is going to be, um... Thanks, bird. Um, what is this going to be? Jamonville Glen. Jamonville Glen. Jamonville yes. Glen. Yes. The start yes. of a world war. Who knew? Some could say the first world war. Some could say, you know, that it was just a war that happened around the world. Yeah. It was a, a byproduct of the French Indian War, and it was a byproduct of the Seven Years War. So. Yeah. And you're a big fan of history, so yes. from time to time, as part of Joshua's journal showing who you are and what you're about, Little known facts, maybe, of historical interest. Yes. So, our story begins in the Ohio River Valley, where the French and English are laying claim to the area. And, uh, well, what was the company name? The Ohio Company. The Ohio Company. Made up of some Englishmen, Englishmen and Virginians. Virginian alikes. Yes. Yeah. Got a 200,000 acre land grant. Pretty big. Yeah. So, the problem was the French wanted this same area as well. And built some forts. Fort Labeef. Fort Labeef was one of which. We're talking the Ohio forts. River Valley between the uh, Appalachians Watching and the Mississippi the River. River. Yeah. The French wanted the area because they wanted to connect New France, which was Canada, to with French Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, so they built these forts. Fort Labeef. And um, uh, Robert Dinwiddie. Fort Duquesne. Well, not yet. Oh, not yet. They built Fort Labeef and Fort uh, Presque Isle up yes. near Lake Erie. And Governor Dinwiddie, he the governor of Virginia, the governor of he Virginia. didn't like this. So he sent George Washington with a total of eight men to basically go up to the French uh, commander and say, Hey, what's going on here? You know, you, you kind of need to get out. This is our land. The Ohio River Company has this. Go on. And the French politely... The French politely said... Sorry, Georgie, but we're not going to do that. We're not moving. We like it here. What is this? So, uh, George goes back to the governor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the governor's not happy. No, he's not. So, he sends George out with, uh... A detachment partner. of 40 people. Well, no, not yet. He had more uh -huh. than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Washington... Heads back to report to Dinwiddie, but the the governor. But before he gets back, Dinwiddie sends out some men to build a fort at the forks of the Ohio, oh, which, is, which now, is now Pittsburgh, present day Pittsburgh. You can go there now. Yeah. So the French they didn't care too much for this, so they drive the English out and, and set up Fort Duquesne. Fort Duquesne. The I thought it was Fort the Queens. It's Duquesne. Duquesne. I, I it's Fort Duquesne. Yes. And you can still visit the site of that fort yep, today. Today. Yeah. Of the Ohio River Valley Forks of Ohio. The Forks of Ohio. The Forks of Ohio. <laughs> In April of 1754, Governor Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie. Had, Dinwiddie. 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 His friends, his friends called him Din, Dinwiddie for, yeah. you know, yeah. affectionately. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie. Yeah. Uh, he sends some men under the, under the command of General, I'm not General, Lieutenant. Newly minted yeah. Lieutenant Colonel George Washington, now about 21 years old, to build a road and also relieve and help defend the fort that the English had built at the Forks of the Ohio. But unknown to George Washington. And Din and, and Din uh, Willie, or Din and Din Din Willie, Din Willie. The fort had already fallen. Yes. Yes. So George Washington en route finds finds out that the fort has been captured, so then he wants to retake it. So he marches onward and ends up at a place called the Great Meadows, which was this great Meadows. clearing amongst this incredibly dense forest Hence at the, the name, time. the Great Meadows. The Great Meadows. And while there, he learns there's some French nearby. George is not too happy about this. No, he's not. So what does he do? Well, he attacks. He gets about 40 men together. And the night is storming. I mean, it's really bad rain and howling winds. And it took them all night to march to the French position. In fact, it was so dark that they had trouble staying on the trail. So yep. 
They reach the French position. They surround the French position. And uh, bear in mind, the French kind of have a little different story, a little, little, little different take on this. And, well, they claim that they weren't a war party. That they were just, you know, because there was no sentries. This is why George Washington could get so close to them without them realizing it's because, I mean, who knows? We, we really don't know. There was no pictures or videos at the time, unfortunately. So someone fired a shot. French. Someone, and, and I have a little theory of my own. I think the English did it. But the French say the English did it. The English say the French did it. The somebody did it. did it. And a little skirmish erupts in a place called Jamonville Glen, Glen, which we've been to. We've been to. It's really kind of dark and mysterious. It's awesome. And it's yeah. off the beaten path. It's real rural. And you can imagine yourself being back in time in 1754. Yeah, Dave has been there when it was snowing. Oh, yeah. Which would have been yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, unfortunately, yeah. did not get to do that. Unlike you. Well, you were just a gleam in my eye at that time when I was there. Uh, yeah. I was dead. <laughs> you were dead. I was just, dead. You weren't here yet. I was dead. It's part of, uh, you can go there today, it's part yep. of Fort Necessity National Military Park. Awesome park. Anyway, when the Hello. smoke cleared, 13 Frenchmen were dead, 21 were taken prisoner, but one... Escaped. Escapes and goes back to Fort Duquesne and tells the French all that happened. Yeah. That did not make the French happy. And the most unhappiest person of all was the brother of the leader of the French at Jamonville Glen, Ensign Jamonville, after whom the Glen was named, and so the French decide they're gonna really cause some trouble. Uh, well, we have a little excerpt here that we, we wrote down a few notes here, and I'll read off uh, General George Washington's notes. This is later what, wrote. what George yeah. said about the battle. Yeah, he said, <sighs> I fortunately escaped without any wound for the right, for the right wing where I stood was exposed to and to and received all the enemy's fire, and it was a it was the <laughs> let let the professional and it was the part <laughs> where the man was killed and the rest wounded. I heard the bullets whistle, and believe me, there is something charming in the sound. Something charming in the sound. Boy, okay, George every, Washington psychopath confirmed. Everybody um, had fun with that, but. You know, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was a big of a deal. And as the great English writer and man of letters Horace Walpole would later write, and I quote, the volley fired by a young Virginian in the backwoods of America, eh. the volley fired by a young Virginian in the backwoods of America set the world, world on, on fire. fire. So in the next episode, the we're going to talk about the French, the, French, revenge the French revenge and what they did. And George got in a little wee bit of trouble here. We better show on the next Joshua's Journal. Joshua's Journal, yeah. If you like this series and like me to continue, please get the likes to five. Yeah. Yeah. There's not many people watch this channel. Thanks, YouTube. All right, birds. Just, you know, don't be quiet on Shut our. Shut up! <laughs>